module on measurements. All right, we're going to talk about continuous measurement. Continuous measurement records all behavior during observation. The most important types of continuous measurements are frequency and duration. Let's start with frequency. It's quite simple. Frequency is the number of times a response occurs. So I'm going to do a quick example with you guys. I want you to count how many times I clap my hands. So here I go. I'm going to start in one, two, three. All right, that's it. So that was three times. I clapped my hands three times. When you're working in the field of behavior analysis, sometimes you're going to take data as simple as that. You're going to count how many times one particular behavior occurs. The next type of data that we collect is called rate. And that's defined as number of times a response occurs over observation times. So in this situation, if I clap 32 times over the course of a three-hour session, what would be the rate per hour of my clapping? So once again, think about the formula that I just talked about earlier. It's the number of times a response occurs. So in this case, it'll be 32 divided by 3. So if you do some quick math, if you pull out a calculator, which I'm about to do right now, so 32 divided by 3, it'll be 10.66 or 10.67 if I want to round it out. That will be my rate. And rate is really important because rate accounts for sometimes when we have low, uh, shorter sessions or longer sessions. And frequency does not do that. So a lot of... A lot of supervisors are going to tell you to do rate, and they're going to coach you through it. So don't worry if you don't, if the formula is too complicated right now. Okay, the next type of data you're going to be collecting is called duration. It's how long the response lasts. So using a stopwatch, measure how long I sustain my clapping. Okay, so this one's going to be a little bit complicated for me. It's going to be a nice workout. So I'm going to start in one. Actually, let me start. Let me get my stopwatch ready. <laughs> so give me a second. So I can compare data with you. Okay, I'm gonna start in one, two, three. Okay, so if you got 10 or 11 seconds, that's what I that's what the time that I have in my stopwatch. And it's quite simple. Once again, that's how duration data is collected. You just record how long a behavior lasts. Duration data is going to be really important for you because you are going to be collecting duration data when a tantrum occurs. So the moment that a child starts tantruming or crying or engaging in whatever behavior that we're interested in, you're going to start a stopwatch and you're going to start recording that data. The next one is latency. And that's how long it takes for the response to start. In this situation, you're going to use a stopwatch Measure how long it takes me to start clapping after someone tells me, clap your hands. In this case, I'm going to tell myself, clap your hands. Okay, so get a stopwatch ready. Okay, so when I say clap your hands, you're going to count how long it takes for me to start. So as soon as I say clap your hands, start your, start your stopwatch. All right, so here we go. One, two, three. Clap your hands. Okay, there you go. So in that situation, it took me five seconds to start, you know, clapping my hands. So it's really simple. It's how long it takes for a response to occur after some type of cue or instruction has been provided. Latency data is going to be really important for transitions. It's going to allow us to measure how long it takes for a child to respond after mom says, put on your shoes, little Johnny. Or after, you know, dad says, go brush your teeth. Okay, and that's when you start basically tracking the data. So the shorter the latency, the better. All right, so here's another example. We're going to talk about, I'm going to do frequency for screaming. Okay, so when I say, ah, you're going to record that as one attempt. So when I count three, you guys are going to start recording that. So one, two, three. Ah. 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 Okay, so that was three attempts right there. That's actually three tallies they should have recorded for my screaming. Now, if we convert that to rate, so I'm under the rate uh, section here. So if I scream 90 times in one hour session, what is the rate per minute of my screaming? Okay, so think about this one very carefully. So we're looking at uh, rate per minute. We have uh, 60 minutes, right, in a one hour. Uh, in, a one, in one hour. So you're going to divide uh, 90 by 60, and it's going to be 1.5. 1.5 
per minute is going to be your data for this one. Once again, I'm converting, uh, since it's per minute, I'm converting the what, the one hour into a 60 minute uh, time frame. And that's why it's 90 divided by 60. Okay. All right. Now the next one is uh, you're going to use a stopwatch to measure how long I stream from start to finish. Okay. So this one is for duration. All right. So let me get my, my uh, timer ready. If I like to measure my behavior as well. So when I, after three, you're going to start counting. So one, two, three. Ah. Okay. So I'm sorry if I'm being a little annoying there. It's five seconds. Right, five, six seconds, more or less. So if you have that around that range of time on your stopwatch, then that's, you record the right duration there. All right. The next one is going to be using a stopwatch. How long it takes me to start screaming after someone tells me, well, cleanup is not the right one, scream, okay? So uh, when someone says scream, in this case myself, when I say scream, how long it takes me to start screaming, okay? So here we go. One, two, three, scream. Ah, uh, okay. So it takes me around five, six seconds. To, uh, to start screaming. So that's that will be considered your latency. All right, so those will be the two examples uh, or two sets of examples I would like to review with you. Just as a quick review here, um, you know, I would like for you to write this down on your worksheet. So frequency is blank of times a response occurs. Rate is a blank of times a response occurs across a specific time unit, usually responses per uh, one hour. Duration is how blank a response lasts. Duration can be calculated as the total duration of the behavior across the session. So adding each individual duration uh, datum together or average duration of each, of each instance. So total duration divided by the number of instances. Latency is how blank it takes for a response to blank. So if you want to take a pause here and go back and review some of the, uh, the definitions for these four different measurement systems, I would highly suggest for you to do that. Okay, so here's another exercise. Using the visual, please calculate the following. So you're going to be using this visual here, okay? So you're going to have uh, mom says, time to clean up. And you see how there's a two-minute time from here. And child screams, and that's basically you're measuring something there. So child screams number two, you're measuring something there. And child screams number three, you're measuring something there. Uh, child screams number four. So what you're going to do is you're going to be matching those. So in the first one, it's latency mom's, latency mom's instruction and the first child screaming response. Okay, so take a very close look at this. Which one would fall under that particular category? Yeah, that's right, this one right here. So it would be two minutes, okay? So you would put two minutes here. Total duration of screaming behavior across the observation. So in this situation here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add up all these numbers here. So two plus one, plus four, plus one. So it'd be three, seven, eight. So this should be eight minutes, and that would be your total duration. To, average, to get an average for the duration, all you're gonna be doing is dividing eight by four responses. So eight divided by four. And that's two, okay? So total duration, uh, the average duration, uh, for instance, will be two. Okay, and sometimes the, your supervisor will ask you to do that. Frequency of screaming behavior across a session. So all you're going to be doing there is just counting how many times a child screamed. So we had one, two, three, four instances. Okay. And lastly, rate per hour of screaming. So in this case, we had four uh, instances, and we're going to divide four because a, a total observation time was two hours. We're going to divide it by two. So four divided by two, that'll e give us two instances per hour. Okay. All right. So I hope that was, that makes sense. If you need to go back to this particular video, you can do that and you can pause and review this diagram a bit uh, closer. So let's go back to our ABC data and see how measurement affects our recordings. Write an example of the measurements we might see with this example. So in this case, we have the date inside the home, individual involved with BT and JD. BT told client, tie your shoes. Klein yelled, no, I don't want to, and began stomping feet on the floor. 
BT stated, we can't go outside until your shoes are tied and use hand over hand prompting to have the client tie his shoes. So in this case, for a frequency, you would be able to record, you know, some type of frequency data for that, right? And also for duration, how long did the behavior last? And here the function would be escape. Okay, so this is really important information because it can allow you to overall measure these different scenarios. And I also would like to add that you could also have recorded some type of latency data for this. Here's another one. So here's the date, 5-10-2019, inside the home. The client involved was BT and JD. Uh, the client and mom walk from playing with bubbles outside to washing hands inside the home. The client ran away from mom to the, uh, to the further side of the backyard. Mom walked over, the client, over to the client, held his hand, and walked him back home. In this situation here, what, would you, what kind of measurement system would you want to use from the ones we talked about earlier? So your options would be right here at the top. So once again, we would have frequency, rate, duration, or latency. All right. My suggestion in this scenario would be that you could probably use some type of duration to see how long it takes for the client to actually, you know, start washing hands. Um, the whole process again to wash hands. You can also do some type of latency to see how long it takes them to start the whole process of washing hands. Okay. So as soon as mom says, go wash your hands, how long did it actually take him to wash his hands? In this scenario here, the function would be escape, right? So you guys would agree that he's trying to escape the instruction to washing hands. Okay, here's another quick exercise for you. So circle the terms relevant to measuring behavior. So here are the different options. We have pound, byte, duration, frequency, distance, latency, decibels, rate, ratio, kilograms, width, volume. So you're going to be circling the terms relevant to measuring behavior. Okay, so this is was a trick question here because if you think about it, all of these would be useful for measuring behavior. You can be able to measure all types of, be, uh, you can measure behavior in different ways, right? Specifically for behavior analysis, obviously the ones we talked about were frequency, uh, duration, rate, and latency, but you can always measure other types of aspects of behavior. You know, for instance, you can measure, uh, you know, some type of like how, how far, was a you know runner able to go? That would be distance, right? You can measure miles. Um, you know, you can also measure some type of width, right? How how wide was you able to engage in some type of response? So these are all different aspects of uh, you know you know type of systems you can use for 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 measuring behavior. But the ones we really want to focus on for you specifically would be frequency, duration, rate, and latency. Those would be the four that I really would like for you to to focus on. All right. 